Let's take a look at how we would compute Taylor series in Maple. So suppose we had to work out the seventh order Taylor polynomial for the square root of x with a center of 100, and then use it to approximate what the square root of 90 is. Now we could start off by typing in the function we want to work with here, the square root of x. And then our usual trick in Maple, if we don't know what to do, we right click on the output and hope that a menu pops up. And in this case, one of the options is series. You can go down to series, series, and then select the variable x, and a menu will pop up asking for the series expansion point, sorry, which is the center, and then the series order. And it's always worth noting that in Maple, the series order is one, one less than we'd call the order. For example, if I typed in 7, thinking I was going to get a 7th order polynomial, then this is what the output comes out to being. So here's the order 1 term, the order 2 term, the order 3 term. Here's the order 6 term. But then I get this giant O right here. That's not the number 0, that's just the letter O. And what the O means is it means order. In other words, it's saying all of the other terms have at least an x minus 100 to the 7th in there. So this part right here represents the 6th order Taylor polynomial, not the 7th order. And the easy way around it is you just up the power by 1. And now this expression right here is the 7th order Taylor polynomial. This right here represents the remainder, the additional terms in the Taylor series. There's a different way of getting exactly the same output. Instead of using the command series, you can use the command Taylor. And it's the exact same syntax. You type in Taylor, what function you'd like the Taylor series for, so the function in line 1, where you'd like the center, so centered at 100, and the order plus 1. And you get exactly the same output. Taylor and series are interchangeable commands. The only thing that's kind of useful about the Taylor command as opposed to the series command is that if you stick the letter M in front of Taylor, so let me just copy this command again, but instead of typing in Taylor, I'll type in M Taylor, I get this output. I'll see if you can compare the two of them. Here's the command output for Taylor. Here's the output for M Taylor. Do you notice what's missing? M Taylor actually gives you Taylor polynomials. Taylor and series give you the Taylor series. So there's a constant reminder in these other two commands that you've got a whole bunch of other terms you need to worry about. If all you care about is simply the Taylor series itself, or sorry, the Taylor polynomial itself, then M Taylor gets the job done. So what about the second bit? Well, the second bit was to go and to use our Taylor approximations to approximate 90. So in other words, this formula right here approximates the square root of x. Let's go and plug in x equals 90 into it. So if I were to right click on this and evaluate it at x equals, uh, sorry, evaluate it at uh, x equals 90, then I would end up with this right here. I get this ginormous fraction. And again, if I want a decimal approximation of that, I could go down to approximate. And I would come up with, uh, that's about 9.4868. For comparison purposes, let's see, the square root of 90.0 is approximately 9.48683. So we do have a fairly decent approximation. And that's the very basics of getting a hold of a Taylor series. You have the Taylor series and M Taylor commands.